Hindi ako na lang. Unless you really want Unless you want it. Ako na lang. Masige pa. I'm Dennis Gonzalez. I'm the Associate Dean of the Athenian School of Government. I'm the Dear Facilitator for this session. This morning, entitled Transformative Governance. Transforming Local Governance through Active Citizenship. We have a very interesting resource person. She will be sharing her story on how her fourth class municipality has been transformed in, uh, in 10 years and raised to the level of a second class municipality. How transformation in both structures and people <coughs> occurred. And uh, she will show that it's, it's uh, her, her facilitation of the transformation. And uh, of course, for this session this morning, after her storytelling, um, we invite everyone to engage with her and to engage with each other in sharing ideas, questions, uh, recommendations, and also concrete ways, specific ways to get all, in a sense, uh, multiply this uh, example of transformative governance. Uh, let me introduce to you our resource person. She is now on her fifth term as mayor of San Isidro. Uh, maybe she will include also, if she has time, a little the story of how, uh, the interesting story about her, her terms in office. Uh, she's a chemical engineer by training, by academic training, but she has also, a, uh, she's also a, a successful entrepreneur. And then in 1998, she entered the uh, elective office. Um, she's, of course, a mother with uh, five, uh, four children, one of whom is here, uh, Jess. And uh, <laughs> very much also her uh, what, assistant and partner in uh, transformative governance. Please welcome Mayor Sonia Lorenzo. Maganda umaga po. I'm here to talk to you. Alisin ko na. I'm here to talk to you about transformative government. Ang transformative government ay di lamang po pala pagbabago ng local government. Kasi ang local government code po natin ay ayos na, maganda na. Pero na-realize namin, ang transformative governance pala ay pagbabago ng pamayanan. Yun ho ang na-realize namin sa San Isidro. Siguro, siguro kung pwede nating ipalaman sa, sa mga programa nating inilulunsad, mas madali natin itong mangunguya, mangunguya ng tao. Kaya dapat po ipalaman sa loob ng programa. So that we did this, dun sa aming roadmap, our roadmap to participation. It is very simple. We listen to people to build. We build integrity by creating shared vision. We make ourselves accountable when we understand our role. Create institutional engagement to sustain participation. And then we nurture all of this by letting people discover themselves and become leaders. Napakadali po ng aming roadmap. Dapat kasi kailangan pong maintindihan ng mga mamamayan. Let me tell you about this, about our transformation through our stories. Tatlo lang po ang aking stories. Ang una ay ang barangay health worker. Doon po ang sinasabi ng mga barangay health worker. Ang sabi pa nung po nila noon, noon inuutos ko ang pagsunod sa mga programa. At galing sa itaas, maraming intriga, reklamo, magulo ang talakayan. At tatatapos ang meeting ng walang saysay. Ganito po noon ang aming barangay health worker. Ngayon, ah, naging program advocates na po sila. Ang meeting, ay, ang meeting, ang lahat ay nagmumungkahi, nakafocus na sa program, ang mga issues related na sa program. At masasaya na ang aming BHW sapagkat sila 
ang nagsusolusyon sa kanilang mga programa sa ground. Ang sabi pa nila, nakakagawa na kami ng plano para sa susunod na activities at ipinaglalaban na namin ang aming ginagawa. May boses na kami. Will you imagine, lumalaban na sila sa, barangga, sa mga politicians. Pagka inuutusan sila ng politicians ng hindi tama, nilalabanan na nila. And to think that uh, Luisa Imbag is a high school graduate, but she is the president of the BHW and she is a national uh, national awardee. How did we do the, all of this? We did this through the intervention and trainings of the grassroots uh, workers, through workshop, basic services, at saka yung social social marketing and leadership training. Pagkatapos po, ang aming, lalo, lalo ng aming BHW, binigyan po namin ng leadership and capacity building. Okay. And ano po ang nangyari after ng capacity building? They were able to enroll 10,352 families ng aming munisipyo. This is already almost 100% of our population is enrolled has a social health insurance program. Ang maganda po dito, hindi lang nila napa-enroll na nagbigay ng volunt uh, voluntary contribution every family ng 200 pesos a year sa aming health program. That is the reason we were able to sustain the health program. It's through the innovation of our barangay health worker. So ngayon, hindi na po sila barangay health worker. Now we call them our barangay health leaders. Pakinggan po nyo ito. Thank you. 